this evening is let's use Psalm 32 verse 7. Let's pray again. The Bible says, for you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with songs on victory. Number one, we are praying for mercy of God to prevail in that region, in Israel, on the Gaza Strip, in Palestine. And number two, we are praying for the protection of God for us here in the United Kingdom and in other parts of the world where some people will want to revenge what is going on on the Gaza Strip in other nations. Let us ask God to protect us, to protect his children, to protect all of us worldwide. Let the Lord protect us from trouble and surround all of us with songs of victory. That everything that the enemy has planned to do and the people he has planned to kill, that Lord we are pleading the blood of Jesus and asking for your mercy to triumph over judgment. Let us pray brethren. Father in the name of Jesus, we pray oh God, according to your mercies that endure it forever. Lord in the name of Jesus, we have heard the figures uh, of how many people have died since the 7th of October this year. How many Israelis have died? How many have been injured? Uh, how many people in the Gaza Strip have been killed? Uh, how many have been injured? Uh, Father God, we have heard about rapes uh, and all sorts of things uh, that the, the Hamas people raped uh, Israeli old women and children to the point of breaking people's pelvis during these rape attacks. Uh, Father, we have heard all sorts of atrocities. Uh, we are praying for mercy oh God because you said you are our hiding place you said you protect your people from trouble you surround us with songs of victory father we pray in the name of Jesus that Lord you would oh God hide all your people hide your people Lord show mercy in the name of Jesus father that hospital that they are planning a terror attack against we are pleading the blood of Jesus and we pray almighty God that Lord, uh, that terror trap uh, be exposed and destroyed uh, that it will not prevail Lord uh, it will not come to pass uh, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus uh, every plan to bomb anywhere in the UK Father God we come against that plan we revoke that plan we decree and declare it cannot prosper it cannot prevail uh, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus uh, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Shandara bo kura basia, Shandara bo kura basia, Reke seketere bo kura baba baba. In the mighty name of Jesus, we overturn, we overturn, we overturn all the verdicts of the enemy. We overturn them, oh God. Every plot from the pit of hell. Lord, we overturn it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for protecting our land. We thank you for protecting all the lands and the nations we are connected to. Father God, uh, every instrument of death uh, that is being used uh, to kill men, women, children, babies, young people. Father God, we come against these instruments of death uh, by the power in the name of Jesus. Uh, we come against the instruments of death uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, deliver your people. In the precious name of the Lord Jesus, Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's ask the Lord once again. The Lord said to us, even in 2 Corinthians, um, not Corinthians, 2 Chronicles seven fourteen, that if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves, would, see, would turn from their wicked ways, would repent, would seek my face, that I will hear them from heaven and I will heal their land. Let us pray that even in Israel, people will not wait for the great tribulation before they give their lives to Christ. That Lord, even in this season, let many of them get to know that Jehovah is God and that Jesus is the Messiah. May they be turned to Christ. Uh, even in this season, even in the nations where we live right now, may God use the happenings of this time to reveal himself to people in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, you said in Second Chron Chronicles 7, 14, if my people who are called by my name shall humble them 
themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. You say, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Father God, all over the world, Lord, uh, even all these happenings that are happening, wars here and there, oh God. Uh, Father, we are pleading the blood of Jesus. Uh, Father God, we are praying uh, that all these wars and rumors of war will prompt people to seek your face, uh, to seek your face, uh, to see that this is the end time. Uh, those who have backslidden, they will come back to Christ. Uh, those almighty God uh, who don't even believe in you, Lord, uh, that their eyes will be opened. Uh, I pray for the people in Israel, oh God, uh, that Lord, uh, the people in Jerusalem, the people in Israel, Lord, in all that region, Lord God Almighty, it will not take that tribulation for them to come to Christ. Uh, even in this season, Lord, uh, they will turn to you, Jesus. Uh, they will turn to you, the Messiah. They will turn to you, our deliverer, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, Father, all over the world, uh, may all the people in all the nations, uh, Father God, uh, may it be like in those days uh, when you sent Jonah to Nineveh. When you got to Nineveh, Lord, uh, all the people, they turned from their sin uh, and they gave their life to you, Father God. Uh, they began to serve you. They repented, oh God. Uh, Lord, draw men and women to yourself. Draw men and women to yourself. Let there be salvation of souls, uh, even in this season, oh God. Uh, Lord, all these people who are dying, may they not populate hell, uh, but for Father God, uh, may there be deliverance. Uh, we pray, your Lord, uh, that there'll be souls one for Jesus Christ. Uh, people will not go to hell in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, every plan of the enemy to populate hell in this season. Uh, Father, we say no. We are pleading the blood of Jesus uh, and saying, God, you so love the world uh, that you sent your only begotten son, uh, that whoever believes in him will not perish, uh, but will have everlasting life. Uh, let everybody worldwide uh, come to the knowledge of the saving grace of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. When we go to John chapter 4, John chapter 4, the Bible says in John 4, 4, that Jesus must needs go through Samaria. That's the King James. Jesus had to, by necessity, go through Samaria. It wasn't an option. He had to, by necessity, go through Samaria because the Samaritans needed him. If you read it in other translations, it says he had to go through Samaria on the way. Now, we, we, we hear from Bible scholars that the average Jewish person would not go through Samaria. They prefer to use a long route rather than go through Samaritan soil because they felt that they would defile themselves. But the Lord Jesus looked at the people of Samaria and he knew that they needed a divine visitation and he needed to go through. He went through so he could meet the woman at the well. And that woman at the well was able to reach her family, her household, her neighbors and the whole city. And they all got to know about Jesus. Jesus brought revival to Samaria. I want us to pray for ourselves that in this season of praying and waiting upon the Lord, that may Jesus go through our lives. May Jesus go through our families. May he go through our bloodlines. Are there people in our families who have not even given their lives to Christ? Are there things in our lives that need a touch from the master? Let Jesus go through us this hour. May he visit every home. May he visit every family. May Jesus touch us. May we have an encounter with his glory. Glory in the name of Jesus. That Lord, we are asking, oh God, that Lord, we need your visitation. Lord, we need your visitation. Just like the people of Samaria needed you to go through their territory. Lord, visit every one of us one by one. Visit the families we represent. All those who have not given their lives to Christ. May they get to know Christ. May we become those instruments like the woman by the well of Samaria who can carry the gospel all around our family members in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Lord Jesus, merciful Lord, the one who showed the people of Samaria mercy. We pray, oh God, that you show us your mercy. Lord, we have cities where we come from, where things are not well right now. We have towns where we were born, where things are not well right now. We have countries, oh God, where we were born, where we were brought up, where things are not well right now, where things are not 
not going the right way. Jesus, you need to go through this land. Jesus, you need to go through this land. Lord, go through this lands. Go through this lands. Limba luka doso pregede. Rombra doso kotoria baba baba. Reba baba zutere de bo kura baba baba. Rega dada bo sekete de bo kura baba baba. Masika tele bo kura baba baba. Shekele kadoso kotoria baba baba. In the name of Jesus, Lord, please, we ask, uh, visit our land, uh, visit our nations uh, like you visited Samaria. Let there be, oh God, uh, an overflow of your glory. Let your presence, oh God, uh, light up the lands. Uh, you are the light that shines in darkness. Uh, let your light shine. Uh, let your light shine in our towns, uh, in our cities, uh, in our nations, uh, in our families. Uh, those who have not given their lives to Christ, uh, may they have an encounter with you lord maroko sokoria baba baba maseke terebo kurra baba baba rabo suke terebo shalamasia misaka terebo kurra baba baba jam brodo so pregete de bosia maroko koko borigada sia malika seke tete bosikata mazundere ba kurra baba baba rekete te bosikata laba lord jesus go through our nations go through our cities go through our families limba lugada sikata laba ya in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Bible says in um, John 4, from verse 5, I'm reading New Living Translation. It says, eventually Jesus came to the Samaritan village of Sychar, near the field that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired from the long walk, sat there beside the well about noontime. And soon a Samaritan woman came to that well. This Samaritan woman could come to the well because her forefather, Jacob, dug the well. Her forefather dug a well that supplied water even up to the generation of this woman. The Bible says she came to draw water from the well that had been dug by Jacob and the land that Jacob had given to Joseph as an inheritance. This family had dug a well that generations to come could continue to drink from. There was a generational blessing that they left through that well. And Jesus comes to that well and puts the icing on top of the cake of that well that had already been dug by Jacob, by Joseph, and all the patriarchs before this woman by the well of Samaria. There was a portal that was opened that Jesus was able to come and use to bless the people of Sychar and to bless this woman. Woman. I want us to pray for ourselves that Lord yesterday Pastor Kingsley was saying we don't want this period of prayer to be like any other I want us to pray that Father God enable us give us the prayer points give us the revelation so that the prayers we are praying now will dig a well that generations to come will be drinking from that well there will be a portal that brings generational blessings there will be a portal that causes the next generation the next generation generations to come to continue to drink from the well that the, the, the spirit of the living God will continue to flow to the next generations by reason of the prayers that are being offered in this season in the name of the Lord Jesus Father God uh, I am asking tonight uh, that Lord uh, God Almighty like you did for Jacob uh, he dug a well that even his children's 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 children were still fetching water from Father tonight uh, Lord God Almighty in this season in this season of prayer and waiting upon you we are asking in the name of Jesus uh, that Lord you would release your grace upon us. Uh, you would release your revelation. You would release your wisdom. The wisdom to pray so that Lord there is a generational blessing. Wisdom to pray so that there is a generational inheritance uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, that the well of water will continue to release uh, to the third, to the fourth, to the fifth generation. We pray for our nations oh God. Uh, Lord wherever we are praying from that every prayer will open up the realms of the spirit. Uh, portals will be opened uh, 
for angels to ascend and descend, portals will be opened for deliverance to come, for healing to come, for transformation to come, for help to come, for increase to come, for expansion to come. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. When we go forward with John chapter 4, the Lord Jesus was asking the woman for a drink. And then the woman was saying, why are you asking me for a drink? Jews don't take water from Samaritans. And then in John 4, 10, Jesus replied the woman and says, if only you knew the gift God has for you and who you are speaking to, you would ask me and I would give you living water. If only you knew the gift God has for you and who you are speaking to. This woman initially didn't have a revelation of the gift that God was offering to her. And then she didn't have a revelation of who was speaking. She heard the instruction, give me a drink. But she didn't understand that that instruction was carrying something. The instruction was carrying a gift from God. And also the instruction was enabling her to tap into the power of the Lord Jesus Christ and his mission on the earth. I want us to pray for ourselves that in this season, Lord, give me the revelation of the gift that you have for me in the name of Jesus so that when you give me the instruction I will understand I will obey speedily because I will understand what you are doing in the name of Jesus Lord wherever our eyes are closed uh, to the gift God is offering us uh, and the gifts come in various ways uh, they don't always come uh, wrapped up beautifully in beautiful wrapping paper sometimes the gifts come looking like ugly thing uh, sometimes the gifts come looking like a problem uh, sometimes Sometimes the gifts come looking like stress. But Father, I pray for an unveiling of my understanding. Lord, give me understanding so that I will perceive the gift of God that you have in store for me in this season. Lord, as the instructions will come, help me to understand who is speaking. When you are giving me an instruction, let me know who is, let me understand who is speaking. I will not, oh God, drag my feet with the instructions of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, open my eyes to know the gift, to understand the gift you are given. Maroko sokora bashaya, masika telebo kura babasiya, lege de de bosikata. We pray, Lord, let this be our season of revelation. Let this be our season of insight. Let this be our season of God of understanding that which you have in store for us. Imaleke seke telebo kura bababa, lembragado sokoria bababa, jeke telebo kura bababa. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, reveal to us, oh God, give us revelation, give us understanding, give us insight, oh God, in the name of Jesus, in this season, we will know who is speaking. When you speak, Lord, we will know who is speaking. And Lord God Almighty, we will comprehend the gift. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Finally, from myself, before we pray for the night season, in 2 Corinthians 10, the Bible tells us from verse 3, that though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down vain imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. I want us to pray finally tonight as we round up that Lord, are there any strongholds that the enemy has built in my mind that would stop me from receiving that which you have in store. Jesus said to the woman, if only you knew the gift of God and who is speaking. Lord, is there any vain imagination? Are there any thoughts that have entertained that are robbing me of understanding the gift of God and who is speaking? Lord, I cast down those strongholds with the weapons of my warfare, which are not carnal. The weapons that are mighty through God for pulling down strong. I pull down every stronghold of unbelief, stronghold of doubt, stronghold of 
fear, stronghold of wrong patterns of thinking, anything in my mind that is exalting itself above the knowledge of Christ, anything that is a vain imagination, anything that is not a, in, 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 in agreement with the plan and purpose of God, any thought uh, that is not consistent with the word of God, any thought that is not consistent with what God has said, uh, Lord, I pull it down. I pull it down. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pull it down. Every thought uh, that Lord uh, is limiting uh, my reception uh, of that which you have uh, at such a time as this, uh, I pull down that thought. I pull it down, mighty God. Uh, I knock down uh, every stronghold uh, of human reasoning. I destroy every false argument, uh, every false argument, arguing against healing, deliverance, transformation, promotion. Lord God Almighty, we pull them down. We shut them down. We knock them down. We knock them down. We destroy every proud obstacle that is keeping us from receiving the fullness of what you have in store for us. We capture every thought. We capture every thought and we teach our thoughts to agree with the word of God. Any thought that is not agreeing with God, I capture it. I capture it. I bring it into subjection. I bring it into subjection. Any thought that is not agreeing with blessing, with increase, with enlargement uh, with promotion uh, any thought that is not agreeing uh, with what the word of God said uh, I knock it down uh, I capture it uh, I bring it under the power of God uh, let this mind be in us that was in Christ Jesus we receive the mindset of God. We receive the mindset of the Lord Jesus. We have the mind of Christ. We think like Christ. We imagine like Christ. The imaginations we have, may they agree with God. We reject vain imaginations. Anything we're imagining that is not agreeing with the word of God, I cast it down. I throw it down. In the name of Jesus, my imagination, you are agreeing with the word of God. How I imagine things will be how God is said it. In the name of Jesus, my rokoso Every thought, we capture you and we bring you to obey Jesus Christ. Every thought, you will obey the word of God. Every thought, subconscious thoughts, conscious thoughts, we bring you uh, under the power of God. Uh, we say you will agree with the word of God. You will agree. For Jesus said, uh, he has come that we might have life and life in abundance. Anything that thief uh, has come to steal and kill and destroy through our thoughts we capture it and we put it under the power of christ everything lord that is a lie that is a lie from the pit of hell we reject it everything that is not the truth of god everything that is designed to bring confusion to bring confusion to bring failure to bring lack to bring delay lord we capture it in the name of jesus we receive the mind of Christ. That Lord, we walk in agreement with you. We walk in agreement. Uh, we have the mind of Christ. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus for ourselves, for the families we represent, everyone around us, the church of God, that our minds, Lord, will be in in agreement with the Holy Spirit that Lord everything that we imagine will be Lord inspired by the Holy Spirit what we are thinking about will be inspired by the Holy Spirit everything about us there'll be an atmosphere of the realms of the supernatural there'll be an atmosphere of your word that is living and powerful for Lord you said so shall my word be which goes forth out of my mouth you say it like the rain falls down from heaven and waters the earth so shall your word be which goes forth out of your mouth it will not return to you void it will prosper way to the thing that you sent it father the word you have sent to bless us lord it will bless us the word will not return to you void there'll be no argument on our side there'll be nothing in us that rejects the word of god there'll be nothing in us that resists the word of god whatever you have said that is what will happen and that is what we agree with in the mighty name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray amen